What's up, everybody? It's Bill from High Volume Games, and welcome to another episode of Promotion Wars. This is episode number four of our 2023 series. We are going to get back into it. Uh, we are at Monday, August 21st, uh, 2023, and we are on the road to payback. So today we will get through Raw and SmackDown and also talk about our what we're going to do each week. Uh, we're going to talk about our storyline that we're forming with the Camp Cornet wrestlers um, and what we're going to do with that and how, as that moves forward, the slow cooking that we're going to do to move that along. Uh, so we're going to get into it. I'm going to shut my light off, put the screen up, and get going. I feel like there should be some sort of uh, theme music for when we do this, you know, like kind of like a who wants to be billionaire or weakest link or something like that. <laughs> but here we go, shutting that off turning that up there we go we are into action so like i said we are monday august 21st um i took away two feuds um obviously i took away i um, i took away the cody brave bray feud um out of respect um i'll figure out what i'm going to do there uh at some point but the reason i did that is i want to have a women's smackdown feud um and also i took away the logan paul bad bunny feud it was at zero percent after two weeks um, so I figure we'll get rid of that as well, but there's two feuds that I wanted to start anyway. So it was just, it seemed right. Um, so we're going to add a female one. I'm going to put Eos guy and I'm going to go with me chin. Um, yeah, I mean, we have some obvious choices that we could put in, you know, Asuka, we have Charlotte, we have um Bianca we have we could even have Bailey but I want EO to get into a feud with someone that she's going to have a should have you know the advantage and have uh momentum with so because we want to build up EO Sky's momentum because I mean just I was watching SmackDown last night. This is being taped on Saturday. Usually I tape this a few days earlier, but this is being taped on Saturday. And I was watching SmackDown, and my thought process was, you have EO Sky as the champion, and I she's not even the leader of her own group at this point. Um, like, there's so many people that are would be, if you're going to rate SmackDown right now, it, she's so there's so many people that are higher than her at this point. So we need to build her. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have... Eos guy take on me chin um, and then the other feud we're gonna start um our camp cornet feud it's gonna take a little bit but that's an interesting one i just saw a name that that makes me wonder um although i have to see where he is uh, but we're gonna put nick aldis and we're gonna put ricochet i mentioned that in the previous do we put him against Ricochet or do we put him like against somebody like a Rick Boogs or a Riddick Moss? Somebody, you know, lower on the card that we could, you know, have him win. Well, yeah, this is essentially us building Nick Aldis, not only as, you know, as someone who will eventually be able to go for a World Heavyweight Championship, uh, but somebody who can, um, but somebody who's going up against a. You know, he's building his wrestler persona, you know, because everybody, if you go on to, you know, the roster, you know, the other wrestlers and you click on that, oops, a one, no, but if you go on and you go into advanced search, uh, my, the reason these three wrestlers are picked is because I went on and I went into, uh, ring style uh yeah i went with wrestler i think i went with wrestler or technical but and yeah you have the nice list and that's how i got them there's some interesting names if we decided to just overrun this you know the wrestling world order no <laughs> wwo okay anyway i'm really going off the rails here so let's get into our show um i did a few changes i did like um i moved charlotte flair over that was one issue that i had um in the first two weeks um uh, because she was on raw 
Um, I also moved Zelina Vega over, or I kept Zelina Vega. Uh, she's on both brands right now because we need her in this. There's going to be, you know, how every week I do a, uh, I do a week where we have me kind of altering the future by making, by picking the winner. Um, we need to have a match. So we're going to have a, uh, I don't know. We're going to have a singles match. I've been debating, do we have, do we put the title on the line, but... We haven't defended that. Did we? Def I think we defended it one yet. But no, the title's not going to be on the line. So we clear that match. But it's two out of three falls. Actually. Let's go into history for a second. Sorry, guys. Uh, Raw before was Seth and... Okay, that, it was a tag team match. So he hasn't fought Damien yet. Because he fought Dominic. But he also hasn't fought Finn yet, and we want... But he fought Finn in the tag match. Oh, he did fight Damien. He fought Damien in the first one. So it was Damien, then it was Dominic, then it was... Uh... So yeah, he has to fight Finn to bolster the story. So let's put it for the title. Uh, do you... I, I kind of want to... <laughs> That's okay. We'll put it in. Uh, we're going to have a women's tag team championship match. And it's going to be Raquel Rodriguez and Zelina Vega versus Chelsea Green and uh, Piper Niven. Uh, Chelsea and they're going to win this match so they get the title. Uh, and that changes our story lineup where now they are the champs, not Chelsea and Sonya. Um, we're, what we'll, we'll say, you know, we'll say on the story mode, it is actually a um, that it was Rhea who cost um, her the title. Drew and Guther, Alpha and um, All right, so we'll put Drew and Guther in the match. And then we'll put him. You're just going to have Imperium in both matches, but. Otis, where are you? I also added interview segments. I'm trying to get you to utilize more uh, people because we have an insane roster of 170 people. Uh, so Jackie Redmond and Kathy Kelly now have interview segments. I think we'll put Kevin and... Oh, uh, I have them so low. They have not. So we'll have Kevin and Sammy. Oh, I actually I can't get. Oh, Kevin's hurt. That's why. Okay. It's like I haven't used Kevin. <laughs> That's why. Uh, Kevin, I think comes back soon, but. 
isn't didn't Kofi come back? So Kofi's back. So we'll put Kofi and Xavier in a match. Uh, we'll do. We'll put the Viking Raiders in there. Uh, kind of going along with real life, but. so many people to choose from again this this roster you had my old game where you didn't have anybody you could pick that riddle uh, oh i should have so moss is in this one Moss versus McDonough. No, I mean, Matt Riddle versus McDonough, sorry. Um, and then this is where we're going to put in their debut. I know they're not going to be happy with being on two, but um, we're going to put Gresham and Thatcher. And they're going to take on Tazawa. And Moss. And I guess we'll go with Kitana Chance and a Sonia Deville. Sonia's got a build herself back up now that she just got railroaded from Chelsea Green. I think we might turn Sonia face, which will be very interesting because Sonia, you know, has has she ever been faced? She was technically for that little bit where, you know, we thought she was, you know, being Mandy's friend when Mandy was with Otis. But yeah, no, we didn't. We know that didn't last long. <laughs> but we, we might, uh, Take Sonia and put her right. There's also the chance that's a uh, I never thought about that, but you know, we run Monday Night Raw, we run you know, WWE. There's nothing saying we couldn't bring back Mandy Rose. <laughs> um, so we just sold out the Cambria County War Memorial Arena in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Johnston, Johnstown, uh, 6,000 people, red hot sold out crowd here tonight to watch the stars uh we're gonna see highlight good thing notice our thing didn't mess up like last week so good that wasn't it's not on the game it must have just been on my computer um just must have didn't like it so chance versus deville deville's had enough she's grabbed a chair referee takes it out oh it's the eye poke and so Joe wins didn't we I, I, what did Adam? What did Adam say? He said something in the. Cause, so every week Adam gives me a kind of review of my show, which is awesome because it helps. Uh, but he said something like was it, it was probably like two weeks ago, where it was like raw is I poke or something like that. <laughs> raw is I poke. Yes, <laughs> it's one hundred percent. Raw likes to have the eye poke of doom and SmackDown has legitimate clean finishes. <laughs> okay. Team Cornette versus Tazawa and Moss. Now, I don't think we're calling them Team Cornette at this point, but we're just doing that for right now. Uh, oh, a low blow by Thatcher rolls up the tides of this, this team of wrestlers, you know, cheating for victory already, you know. <laughs> but look at this. Gresham and Thatcher winning their first ever match. Team Cornette. See, we haven't put the, the the pairing of these two with Aldis yet to make Camp Cornette. But we're going to 
have them as Team Cornette at the moment, but um, I don't know if, if Cornette walks them out to the ring yet. In I don't know if I've put them together. I have put all this in Cornette together. But there we go. See, we're not going to put all this in the match. I didn't put Ricochet in a match either. Jeez. Oh, here's Jackie Redman with interview time. And oh, he's talking to Gunther about McIntyre. Who called him a certified asshole? Oh. Gunther takes the chair. McIntyre gets back up. This is very fast reading. <laughs> Matt Riddle locks the bro lock on. JD has nowhere to go. McDonough taps out. I, I read I read a good uh I read a good thing on Twitter that says, you know, since McDonough gave uh Damian Priest the senior money in the bank briefcase, that JD has the contract. Like there was a sleight of hand or something. Um <laughs> So JD, JD could be passing that off to Finn. That would be an interesting. <laughs> so you guys are, you know, I I talked to you guys about this. What? When do we? When do we? Uh, do we wait? Okay, New Day versus Viking Raiders. I'll talk about it in a second. Xavier Woods hits Lost in the Woods on Ivar. He makes the cover to three. Xavier picks up the win. And they're back. The New Day is back. Xavier is undefeated so far. Um, so what I was going to say is when do we give Damian Priest the title? Do we wait? Do we wait till real life happens and then, you know, put it on him? Or do we just decide we're going to put him in a match at some point? We'll have to figure that one out. Although I already had him fight Seth, so I don't know who we could. Uh, once we get past payback, we could put Seth with Nakamura. Uh, Byron Saxton is in the ring with Rhea. Now Rhea's got something to say about Raquel. Rhea makes fun of Johnstown. Raquel comes out. And Raquel punches Rhea. Oh, that sets up our title match where, you know, like I said, I feel Rhea would come in and ruin that. <laughs> Giovanni Vinci's down on the mat. Chad Gable makes the cover. Feet on the ropes. Oh. <laughs> oh, is is Chad Gable not a face? <laughs> Or is he a face in re wrestling like a heel? That's a new thing I've heard people say recently. Is that some people are faces, but they're wrestling like heels. Or heels that are wrestling like faces. So, we'll see. I'll have to go look, check that out. We may have to turn them. But the winners of the match. The Alpha Academy. Thank you. Luther versus Drew in a non-title bout. Ludwig Kaiser stands on the apron. Guther comes running into McIntyre, but McIntyre breaks free. Guther and Ludwig Kaiser collide. McIntyre rolls up Guther and gets the three count. Oh, well, we know that means that like Guther's gonna walk. He's gonna walk up the ramp and not look at. Kaiser and Kaiser's gonna have to be there, stand there sad. Oh, it's gonna poor Kaiser. Although not poor Kaiser. Kaiser going after like Maxine Dupree. But could you imagine those two together? That would be interesting. And I feel like you don't want to turn Maxine again. You know, she just kind of went from, you know, heel to face. You don't want to turn her again, but that would be an interesting pairing. Uh, here's Raquel Rodriguez and Selena Vega versus Chelsea and Piper. Selena's on the top rope. 
She goes for the moonsault, but misses. Piper and Evan connects with the elevator drop. Evan covers and gets the win. Okay, so with our storyline, uh, yeah, Rhea is probably either distracted Raquel or just, you know, they went and brawled off and left Zelina by herself. And then Chelsea and Piper make the, you know, take the win. So now they are the new tag team, women's tag team champions. So I'll have to go back and now put them on both brands and we can put Zelina back onto the uh, SmackDown brand. That was just a, a little, that took us a few weeks, but a little way of getting Chelsea and Piper together uh, and have the titles. All right, Seth and Finn. Seth with the curb stomp. Finn's down and out. He makes the cover. Gets the win in this world championship match. I feel like that was... I don't know. I want to put the... I'm going to put them in the cage at Payback, but I don't know if I needed to have them in a title match right now. I feel like it diminished that match at Payback. Uh, Sonya Deville and Katana Chan 71. Team Cornette defeats Tazawa and Moss at 78. Uh, Matt Riddle and JD McGrown at 77. Uh, New Day and First Viking Raiders 79. Alpha Academy and Imperium 77. McIntyre and Guther at 89. Chelsea Green and Piper Nevin 70. Seth Rollins defeating Finn Balor 92%. So I'll shut up because we got a 92 out of it. <laughs> 88.30. Uh, we had 1.296. I'm going to say that's a pretty steady. I think that was what we were at last week. Uh, so, And we're still at 100 to 100. Uh, we have just the one email. Fans loved the show. And of course, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor were the match of the night. Ooh, wow, what a pickup here. Lena has signed with AEW. What a pickup. How are they going to use her? It's going to be interesting. Yeah, let's go. Ring of Honor has signed Eric Redbeard. Ooh. Oh, I thought about that for a second. I thought about that uh, a few days ago, picking up Redbeard having him and Strowman as a tag team, but a three-year deal, so we will not be seeing Eric Redbeard in WWE for a while, because he has got a huge deal. What a what a pickup. I'm going to... Okay. Apparently, they're... Everybody... It's been, apparently, no, one person, Tony Khan, because he's got both of those companies. Apparently, Tony Khan is you know, going on a rampage here. Uh, but let's go down to the M's. Oh, look, there's Maven. Okay, there's a lot of M's. Okay. So can we get Mandy back? And we, we'll be like, we're very sorry, Mandy. She wants at least 400 and at least a wrestling role. We'll give her a thousand because, you know, some people screwed her over. <laughs> but we're going to bring her back as a face. Because, uh, again, I, like I said, I want to, I kind of have this idea of Sonya being faced, you know, now that Chelsea and Pipe, Chelsea, basically Piper or Chelsea replaced Sonya with Piper. Um, and we'll see. But does Mandy Rose become our signing after, you know, After we just saw Lena and uh, Redbeard leave. Uh, all right, a heavyweight with good hardcore ability. Frank Ascot. Basic wrestler, 80 hardcore. We're obviously going to take him uh, because we're just going to have hardcore matches with uh, 
you know, we may bring back the 24 7 title as a hardcore title. We're just going to keep them as that. Uh, uh, we'll put them as, yeah, face. I might have to turn Scotty heel, but just, um, just right off the bat, having a hardcore match in the open or with those two, you know, it's going to be a high rated match. Mandy is back. Mandy is back. So I have a question. And, um, I saw something. And again, I have not. Well, let's just say in the year that I was go gone from here. Um, I know that you can... I know that NXT, like, you can call up people to NXT. I forget how to do that. Um, I'm sure Adam will tell me. <laughs> but um, can you send people down? That's just a question I have. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into our SmackDown. Sorry for that. Like, I know Dana Brooke needs to come back, because let's be honest, Dana Brooke is I'm, uh, one of my favorites, and uh, she's in NXT. Kevin Nash signs a four-year deal with New Japan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Wages $1.2 million. All right, we're going to SmackDown. So we're, we're eventually going to make that trade to bring Jey Uso over. Who do you think is going to be the person to trade to oh, to SmackDown? I'm assuming it's going to be Cody. So, <laughs> Excuse me. Very sorry about that. Um, but okay. So Go to our show. We're at the boot will, boot well, bout well, boot well. I'm going to say it's boot, but bout well. My goal today is to apparently to mispronounce everything. Uh, let's clear match. Uh, let's have a startup match and just wreck the hell out of each other. Uh, we'll have, we'll have to like have a, story about this where say like Adam Pierce you know is having an invitational you know a hardcore invitational match where just these random people we saw Scotty Valentine but uh, just a hardcore invitational uh, match uh, match three is where we're going to see EO take on Meechen um, again. I don't know. Like, then we'll have a. It's this. See, even this seems wrong, but again, I was watching SmackDown and I just had this thought process of like, EO is not even like the leader of her own. Uh, like, she's not even the leader of her own faction, and she's so... Like, I would put her at least fifth in the order uh, between Bianca. So we're just going to have that uh, Bianca... Like, these four, I think, are higher in the order. But, because we need ratings, and we want big matches up top, we're going to put Bianca, Bailey, Charlotte, and Asuka, you know... Their feud is going to be kind of like a Trish and Lita, uh, Trish and uh, Becky. It's a little more important than the championship at this point. <laughs> I 
This is an interesting one. We're going to have... That's the main event. We're just going to have a triple threat match between the, the brothers. Between Jimmy, between Jay, and between Solo. <laughs> Austin and Santos, okay. Uh, Butch and Ridge versus the Street Profits, okay. Santos and Grace and Waller. I didn't put Waller with... Can I change that now? No, I can't. Okay. I'll have to put Waller and Austin together since they kind of on, on uh, SmackDown consider themselves associates. Give me Cedric and Shelton. Uh, give me Dawkins and Ford. Well, I feel like this is becoming my, like, again, while we're waiting for Kevin to uh, heal, this has been, seems like my go-to is just putting tag teams in a tag team, gaunt, not gauntlet, but like a fatal four-way. Gallows and Anderson. Sorry, I just spazzed. I was like... <laughs> I don't want to put Gresham and Thatcher in this, though. I guess we'll put Hit Row. We're going to put AJ Styles in a random match. <laughs> ah, do we put AJ and Logan or AJ and LA? <laughs> AJ Styles and Logan Paul. We have two women's matches. I will put Dolph. Are we? What are we? What are we claiming Dolph is right now? <laughs> is Dolph face or heel? I have an I. Okay, Dolph is a heel. So and is. Okay. Okay, so yes, LWO is phase up. Okay, so which one of Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro is the higher worker? Sixty six for Del Toro. Wild is a 72. Okay, so Joaquin Wild is going to take on Dolph Ziggler. I have a plan for Dolph Ziggler at some point, but not yet. So, but we want him to get momentum. He's he's taking on the lower level guys right now, uh, getting wins. So. <laughs> But what is Kevin Nash's role going to be in New Japan for four years? I just don't see it. 
All right, another 6,000. So both rosters sold out their 6,000. That's good. We're increasing each week. I don't think we'll hit 2 million on this broadcast just because uh, it's kind of weak. It's kind of weak. But let's kick this off with a hardcore match between Frank Escott and Scotty Valentine in the hardcore invitational match. <laughs> it's a Pier 6 brawl. Yes! Those of you who are classic uh, Promotion Wars fans will know the Pier 6 brawl. <laughs> it's a reverse DDT on the stairs. Makes the cover, gets the win. Frank Ascot with the debut win. What a way to get your easy first. You know, Adam Williams, Tony, Tony Callahan, Scotty Valentine, Frank Ascot, the first of those four to get the win. I guess we'll have, we may have to go out and find some. I'm a hardcore uh, fan or hardcore wrestlers to add to our promotion. I mean, that was one of our core high volume wrestling uh, uh, was our hardcore division. Kathy Kelly asks Jay Uso about fighting solo. Having heard this solo comes out. Clearly, these two are going to want to have a match. And we're just going to throw Jimmy in there just because we can. <laughs> I don't know if the computer understands the significance of having Jimmy in that match. But <laughs> Dolph, Dolph gets the zigzag on Wilder. Well, Wild, sorry. He makes the count. But Ziggler's not done. He continues to attack Wild after the bell. Here comes Santos and Ray. Dolph quickly gets out of the ring. Wow! <laughs> uh oh, I guess we. Ne I, I guess Ziggler's gonna, you know, go into business for himself here and uh, <laughs> feud with the LWO. <laughs> Interesting. I like that. I like it a lot. Again, I have a. I have a, an idea for Dolph, but he's just going to go into business for himself for a bit. It's my, my idea for him is probably not a few, for a few months away. So if he wants to go into business for himself, that's okay. <laughs> Eos guy versus Mi Chen. With Mi Chen down on the mat, Eos guy goes for the top. Eo comes off the top rope for the moonsault. It connects the genius of the sky with the big win. I mean, is it big? Probably not, but we need, we want EO's momentum to, you know, start building up as the champion. So a win on SmackDown versus Mi Chen is a good thing. We can put Bailey against Meechin with, you know, and then EO attacking and stuff like that. But there's, there's work we could do. EO comes down to the ring. Or she's already in the ring. She's trash talking Meechin, calling herself the greatest wrestler. Oh, Mia coming back in. Talking some more trash. But then EO walks off. Ooh. So adding a little more to that match. EO declaring herself the best wrestler to ever exist. Styles making the cover on Logan Paul gets the win. There might be a few people that are going to take exception to uh, EO's best in the world. But who knows? Does does EO leave damage control and join our new Camp Cornet as the female? No. <laughs> Although she's a high flyer versus, you know, so we need a technical ground. We may have to look into that. 
However, right now it's not as much of a priority as we have both women's champions are heels. We're starting our heel promotion. Here's our four-way tag match. Gallows connects on the 12th step on Alexander. Gallows gets the win. So the two teams that really aren't feuding result in the are are in the result here. So I wonder, did the Street Profits oh actually no, Street Profits are not even the team I have feuding with Street Profits are not even in this match. Darn it. That's what I get. That's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, I hope you're having a good time. Thank you for watching. Uh, anytime someone clicks, uh, I thank them. So I hope you all are doing well. Thank you. If you haven't, feel free to click the subscribe button. I'm stuck on 155. I've been stuck on 155 for like two years. <laughs> Bianca, Bailey, Charlotte, Asuka. Charlotte hits the figure eight on Bailey. Bailey has nowhere to go. She taps out. Poor Bailey. Bailey just seems like she's the one that has to take the take the abuse now. <laughs> Charlotte gets the win. Charlotte's debut or return to SmackDown because like I said, she was she was uh on Raw, so we couldn't get her to spend oh, contract signing between Butch and the Street Profits. So they're gonna thankfully the game is going to you know, make up for my lack of booking ability <laughs> by putting a contract signing between the Street Profits and the Brawling Brutes. Escobar and Waller. Escobar with the Phantom Driver on Waller. He makes the cover. Gets the win. He's celebrating. And here comes Austin Theory. Theory has caught Escobar off guard, and he hits him with A-Town down. Escobar ends up lying in the ring, and Theory leaves. I like Theory. First of all, he's an annoying bad guy. And then you look at him off the, uh, like, outside of WWE, like doing uh, either charity events or, you know, he seems like a good guy, so... You always like when you see the bad guys, you know, the bad guys and the heels in, uh, in wrestling and they turn out to be nice people or funny people, you know, out in the. <laughs> so, so. Jimmy and Jay versus. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Jimmy versus Jay versus Solo. With Jimmy down on the mat, Jay goes to the top. He hits the frog splash. It connects. Makes the three count, and it's over. Jay Uso is the uh, the winner over his brothers. So we got Frank Ascot and Scotty Valentine in their hardcore invitational at an 84. Dolph defeats Joaquin Wilde at an 81. Eo and Mi Chin start off their feud with a 77. AJ and Logan Paul in a cold feud match. A cold match. No feud. 85. Hmm. What do you think, guys? <laughs> uh, the Good Brothers winning in the four-way tag team match with a 79. Charlotte Flair defeats Bianca, oh, Bianca Bailey, and Asuka in an 86. Uh, that's why their match is number six. Santos defeats Grayson Waller in a 72. And the Usos and Solo go 83 for an 89.70. That's great uh it was the 90 point i think 90.0 so it still was a very good show last week last week it was that oh we lost a lot of viewers though oh we're gonna have to because we need roman we need to just sorry roman you can't have that uh <laughs> you can't have that you know vacation you always talk about <laughs> all right so that is gonna be it for the shows we're gonna move up the calendar see if any other news happens our our locker room oh, our locker room our title values and our feuds went up one everything else no changed 
Progress signs Marty Skrull to a two-year deal. Oh, nice to see Progress getting into the game. And that is it. So we have made it to Monday, the 28th. Uh, so Monday, the 28th. So we're two. Yeah, we're two weeks away. We'll have this week and then next week will be the three. I think next week when it comes to the three, where we have Raw, SmackDown, and Payback, we'll, we'll straight to results Raw and SmackDown and then we'll uh, do the highlights for Payback. I think that way, because right, even this is 46 minutes in, um, that would, if we went straight to hi or highlights with everything, we'd be well over an hour. Uh, so that's going to be it for this episode. Um, again, check out PW Remastered. Check out the forums, the arena. Um, I will put a link in the description for PW, uh, for Promotion Wars. Thank you to Adam and everyone for uh, keeping this going um we'll see you soon uh see you next week uh, i don't think there's anything that would hinder next week so we'll be back uh hope everyone is safe and healthy and we'll see you soon take care everybody bye now